time again to count my blessings. <laughs> So I am not going to make this long, um, <laughs> but um, my it's it's the holiday season, as they call it, um, whatever it is that you may celebrate. Um, this is a really tough time of year for a lot of people, and it breaks my heart. Like, I feel like this time of the year should be the one time of year where um not necessarily that people need to be happy but like this is the one time of year where I feel like all of the crap that you deal with all year should be lessened but for a lot of people it's not um people who have been struggling with poverty all year feel it even more this time of year um <laughs> People who've had struggling marriages feel it even more this time of year. Um, someone who's been getting by, you know, with their car that hasn't broke down yet, the harsh weather and the bad roads and things like that, it just makes that challenge even harder this time of year because this is the probably the time of year where all that accumulation will come together and that car will stop working or be injured or crash or so I don't know. It's just like all of the things that you deal with throughout the year culminate and ex become exponential this time of the year, the one time of the year where it should actually be lessened for people should be helping more and being more open and being willing to let things go. But that's just not how it is and I'm not pointing the finger because I'm right there uh, dealing with my own things and trying really hard not to hold grudges but it's it's hard not to hold grudges especially when you've been hurt when you feel like things are against you but I'm counting my blessings because despite all of that I have a choice I don't always have the best choices. I wish I had more choices, but I still have a choice. And so I am choosing to let go of some things and I'm choosing to, in some cases, be the better person. In some cases, I, I am still struggling with that. I'm not the better person, but I'm trying. Um, but ultimately I am looking forward to an opportunity to not be selfish um I'm so excited that my family is doing um a single like adult gift exchange this year to where we're not buying gifts for everybody you just pick a name and you buy something for that person personally I would be okay with getting rid of the gift exchange altogether because it looks like we're just exchanging gift cards I don't know what that's about but my point is we're doing that because we understand that there's so much more we could be doing with our blessings. And my mom has initiated this family angel tree thing that it just seems to be getting bigger and bigger every year. And I'm all for it. You know, we um, are helping, I believe, multiple families, or at least we're just going to make this one family feel like they're rich you know we're giving them gifts and clothes and you know things all of this stuff for the kids but my mom always takes it like an extra step and does something for the parent you know so I am so excited that we've done this in the past and that we're continuing to do it moving forward and um like I said I'm just really excited about this kind of chance to just you know not be selfish for once I don't feel like I'm an overly selfish person, but honestly, if you live in the United States, a lot of your existence is, is materialism, even if even if it's not intentional, you know? Um, we get upset when the clothes that we want aren't at the price that we want them to be because we expect things to be the way we want them to be. And um, when we can't get the latte that we want because they're running low on some ingredient, you know? when the price of eggs increased. I mean, it's hard on everyone. Um, 
And so it's just a good reminder for this time of the year to count blessings uh, in the midst of all of the struggles. I'm not putting any of the struggles down because the struggles are real, but so are the blessings. And for me, it, it, it's, it's more important for me to dwell on the blessings than let the struggles get me down. And that is what I'm counting today. The, the fact that I have a choice because some people in this world are in a situation where they don't have choices. Um, and so I'm blessed. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, for like I said, for whatever it is you celebrate, um, I'll be celebrating Christmas this year with my family, and I just just want you to know that if no one has ever told you, you matter. And I'm not saying that in like a facetious way because you know this time of year a lot of people are dealing with you know suicidal thoughts, <laughs> and I'm not going to be one of those people who's like I don't understand how someone could ever you know think that way because I do understand. How people can think that way, especially when they have an existence where they feel like they don't have choices. So because I recognize that I have choices, I am counting my blessings and I'm praying for all the people out there who feel like they don't have choices. So as usual, guys, stay safe and be blessed.